Oh, it's magical. All right. Well, as we close up on the end of the show, we're going to play a little game that we like to play on this show. As we close it up, called What's in the Box, a game we like to play on the show as we What's wrap it up. What's in the box? So, yeah, everybody's got to do it one time. Though. I need to get the clip for that. I know. Now, Taylor normally ruins this game for everyone because she yeah. gets it, like, the first time every time around. So she's required to go last. Oh, yay. Um, because she's <laughs> obnoxiously good at this game. What, the first time I played it, I was the second person to guess. And yeah, and still you still had, like, sh- ten minutes left Yeah, the we show. shut it down so quick. <laughs> Bit killer. So, I want to take a look to make sure I do understand what this is. Uh, obviously, it can fit in a box. We do go shopping usually at the dollar store for the item that goes into the box. So, it's certainly going to be like a gold ignin or anything like that. This is a very reasonably priced, modestly priced item. We've had candles before. We've had glow sticks. We've had a can of clams can before. Can we get clues? Yes. yes. Here's, and here's the way it works, I guess I should explain. You get to ask two questions to, about what's in the box. Then the third question is you have to take a guess at what's in the box. Can I go second to last? Yes, we'll allow that. It's ladies' choice today. <laughs> uh, why don't we start with Steve? <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, go first today. My um, lord. Uh, you said I get a question about? You get two, you get questions. two questions, questions, questions and then a guess. And then a guess. Yes. Okay. Uh, does it come in a package? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, is it made of plastic? I believe most, not the packaging, but the unit itself is not. I can't tell. It's, uh, no, it doesn't feel like it is. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Made of plastic. The packaging is. I'll give you that one. though. Okay. I demise that what is in the box has got to be. Must be. A totally tubular and gnarly version of. (laughs) A hairnet. No, but an interesting oh, guess. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Matt? I can't guess. I'm oh, you're in this it today. All it's right. Okay. okay. Um, is it a toy of some sort? No. Is it food? It is a facsimile of food. It's fake food. Oh, okay. So it's a fake toy food. Well, we said it's not a toy. Okay, God. Um, it's a fake. Oh, is it one of those apples that you buy for um your your table? And like a wax apple? The, yeah, like one of those wax apple things. No, it is not. No! Sorry, sorry. Is it an office supply? No, it is not an office supply. Hmm. Is it decorative? Like, is it meant to just be displayed? Yes, I would say in a sense. Yeah, although it serves another decorative function as well. In fact, I would say the viewing of it is second to its primary property. Oh, God. Just talk normal. <laughs> nope, Just that's the fun terrible. of the game. Nope, this is the fun of the game. Is we try to make the answers make it more difficult to guess. Try and use your 80s vernacular. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm pre- feeling pretty good about this one, honestly. I think we may get this one past Taylor twice. Stunning yeah. audio. I yeah, thought, I thought it was erasers. No, like not erasers. erasers. No, although that's a good one again. <sighs> All right, back to Steve again. Another question. Yes, two questions and a guess. Okay. Uh, do you put it on a table? Well, I'm not sure how this works. Hold on. Mm. Is that how that works? I mean, you can. Okay. You can, but it is not designed to work that way. Okay. I actually read that. <laughs> so it has instructions, obviously, because I just read some of the instructions. Okay. Is it is it a part of a of a? Uh, do you, do you use it with other things? Yes, you do. As a matter of fact, correct. Okay. I'm beginning to feel like I don't remember what I put in the box. <laughs> <laughs> uh and it's plastic. And it's every time I open this, I'm getting hungrier. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, uh, well, just but the fact that it's a food product is, is making me hungry. It's a food product. It's well, it's a facsimile of a food product, a representation of a food product. So the erasers would have been, I like that, you know, a yeah. uh, fake apple would make it too. Oh, yeah. And um, I, it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, is it a paintbrush? No, it is not. It's okay. not, it's not a paintbrush. Doy. The food product. <coughs> well, Use your brain. <laughs> Just Safi, well, let's see if you here. can nail it then. Let's. What is this? Hi. 
Oh, um, is it food? It's a representation of a to- of food product. Um, what's its purpose? Oh, uh, hmm, that's actually pretty good. Let's see. Without giving too, I'm trying to think away without giving too much away. You have to give it all. It up. is its purpose is to um, make an area smell better. So, as decorative, its primary oh, function okay, is okay. to make something smell. Its secondary purpose is, is it to view it. In little wax squares. No, but v- that's getting pretty darn close to what we're talking about here. Is it a scentsy candle? Is that close? In- Judges? I think that's pretty close. All right. I don't I think, think we're getting close. Taylor, you just want to take a guess, see if you get any closer. Yeah, on you want to scent Scented candles? No, thank goodness. Or air Taylor followed it. It is an air freshener. Yeah. Zappy got it on that one. But it is designed to look like a jar of marmalade. Oh, wow. Wait, I win. What do I win? You win, you win that. You, win that. <laughs> you have to take it. <laughs> and the rule is you have to take it at yeah. least to your car. Yeah. I said on she said Scentsy candle. So I was like, so it's a the scented only, candle? It's a, yeah. Air freshener? The air yeah. freshener was the closest thing. What's in that box? You'll have to come back next week and try for that one. <laughs> Some more stuff. Uh, yeah, we went. We hit the dollar short day and loaded up. No, I think that's your French fry bag. <laughs> oh, there's also the French fry bag. We forgot about that as well. <laughs> one day we just need to load up like a half-eaten cheeseburger and fries in here and give that away. I have and one have that I don't think y'all are going to be able to guess. Pro- uh, yeah, yours are kind of hard usually. All right, well, that is another perfect episode of Fun Time Good Show. I want to thank you for tuning in again. Make sure. Thank <laughs> you.